Once there were two sisters named Maggie and Mabel. They lived in a very special house. Do you know why the house was special? It's because the house was magic. When Maggie and Mabel wanted to go to a faraway place, the house would take them there. All they had to do was put their arms up in the air and think about a faraway place. One day, Maggie and Mabel decided that they would like to go to the beach. They put their arms up in the air, the wind blew up, they covered their eyes, the sky turned orange, the house shook and whirled, and suddenly it became calm. They opened their eyes. This is the beach! They cried with great excitement. We will go for a walk in the sand. Maggie and Mabel loved the beach. It was warm and sunny and the wind blew in their hair. As they were walking, they saw a large pile of sand. They walked around the sand. <gasps> On the other side of the sand pile, they saw a big dark hole. They walked over to the hole, but they couldn't see anything. It was so dark. So they got down on their knees and they looked a bit closer and they put their hands in. <gasps> there was something in the hole. What was that? It was something cold and hard. Wow! They started smoothing the sand away and carefully they pushed the sand off and pulled the hard, smooth object up and up, and up, and up. <gasps> it was a soldier, a stone soldier. They picked him up and stood him on the sand. And a big, big black bird was flying overhead, having a very good look. Then there were more soldiers. They kept on digging and pulled out one soldier, two soldiers, three soldiers, four soldiers. It was so exciting, they decided to take a selfie with one of the soldiers. Click! They would be able to keep that in their very special book. Later, when they grew older, they found out that what they had found in the hole were the terracotta warriors who used to live in China. They talked about what to do with the terracotta warriors. They talked and talked and while they were talking some blackbirds flew overhead to listen to their conversation and also, wow this must be magic, some grasses started to grow on the hot dry sand. Well, at the end of their conversation, they decided to put the terracotta warriors back into the hole because they really shouldn't mess with stuff like that. It really had to go back to China one day. And that was the end of a lovely day. Now it's time to go home. Walking back on the sand, they saw a very interesting bike. Maybe we can go home faster. Yes, let's do that. So they hopped on the bike and Maggie helped Mabel up on the back of the bike and off they rode in the wind. And they enjoyed it very much. When they looked up in the sky, they saw birds soaring around. They even saw an aeroplane and they saw beautiful colours in the sky. And there was the house. They had got back to the house. They carefully got off their bike and they walked back up the steps all the way into their lovely house. Now it's time to go home. So up went their hands and the house started shaking and the sky turned orange and there they go all the way back home. The end of a fantastic adventure.
Then Maggie said, Let's start seeing baby balloons.